I'm here with Steve Fenizio, a partner at Wilmer Hale in London and contributing editor of the ICLG Guide to International Arbitration. Today we're here to talk about class action arbitration. Um, so could you explain to us uh, what, that, what that is? I think class action arbitrations in, in a pure sense is something that is particular to the US right now. It arises out of a, of a history of class action litigation and it is uh, something the US courts are still wrestling with in terms of arbitration, but there are features that I think are hard to replicate outside of the US. At the same time, they're a form of multi-party arbitration where uh, a group of claimants usually will bring a, a claim together in one proceeding and we are seeing outside of the US opportunities for group claims to be brought in arbitration and I think it's inevitable that we're going to see more of that. Okay, so, so who is exposed to, the, to these types of claims? The, the, the place we've seen it most notably so far has, has been in the, the investment treaty context where uh, groups of, of investors have been allowed to bring claims together in one proceeding. In particular, the most well-known case is the Abaclat case in which 60,000 Italian bondholders were allowed to bring a claim against Argentina. Mm -hmm. They had separate investments, but they were allowed to bring one claim together. Um, so that's one area where we certainly will see exposure or growth is in the treaty context where a government has taken mm -hmm. steps that will affect many different similarly situated people and they will be allowed to bring claims together in one proceeding. Also, though, I think we will see potentially claims where a business has entered into a, a contract that is similar or identical with many other businesses and there may be opportunities for, for those other businesses to bring claims together on efficiency grounds in one proceeding rather than in multiple proceedings. And, and in some situations, in some types of businesses, you might have hundreds or thousands of businesses that might want to bring a claim together against, against a company rather than multiple separate claims. Mm. So it's an area to, to keep a lookout for? I think it's definitely an area that we're going to see growth in. We, once you start to see some claims, it inevitably leads to other claims. But also we're seeing institutions responding by creating rules to deal with the, the, the particular issues that arise when you have many, many uh, parties involved in one case. We see U.S. arbitration rules that have developed for class action arbitrations. And we also see in Europe some, some efforts to create rules for large claims or claims brought by a large number of parties. And once you have rules and once you have cases, it's 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 I think almost inevitable that we'll see a growth in this area. Okay, thank you. Thanks.